What's up everyone? I hope you guys are doing great. So today's video is going to be about Steve Harvey and Michael B. Jordan. This is going to be a very interesting video because I've known about this one for a long time. So I have a lot of connections with this one. But before I get into it, make sure you guys drop a like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow me on Instagram, and subscribe to my Patreon if you're interested in exclusive content that is not allowed on YouTube. All of my links are in the description below. But anyways, let's get into the video. So as you guys can see by this side to side comparison alone, it is very easy to tell that Steve Harvey's younger character is Michael B. Jordan. And there's a lot of damage control out there with Steve Harvey. And I'm going to break that down at the end of the video. So make sure you guys watch this whole video. But before I get into that, I just really want to zoom in on the fact that Steve Harvey is Michael B. Jordan. And this is insane because Michael B. Jordan was dating Steve Harvey's daughter-in-law. Her name is Lori Harvey. And that's not his biological daughter. But just the fact that Steve Harvey's younger character was dating Lori Harvey is very disgusting. You know, the idea that this character would create a new younger character and then that character dates his daughter, you know, that's some nasty shit right there. But at the end of the day, that's a major connection. They really put this one in plain sight, man. Like this one was right in front of our face, literally, because he's literally dating his own daughter with his other character. This one was right in front of our face and a lot of people didn't even notice it. But shout out to all the people that did notice it because there is a good amount of people, you know, thousands of people that noticed it. And I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. But first, I just want to show you guys a couple more side to side comparisons that I made. Because right here, you can clearly see that they have the same exact mouth and the same exact smile, man. Like Steve Harvey is known for his smile and his mustache. You know what I mean? So the fact that both of these characters have the same exact smile and mustache and they have the same eyes, the same eyebrows, the same forehead, they have the same chin, you know, everything about these characters is the same besides the nose. I think the nose is the only thing that they changed. You know, they always have to change something or else it would be too obvious. But either way, this one is still extremely obvious, man. And it's right in our face. You know, I still can't believe that his younger character is dating his own daughter-in-law. You know, that's some nasty shit right there. But the crazy thing about this one is that it's so obvious and so much in our face that a lot of people are not going to want to accept this one. Especially people that are not open-minded and people that were led astray by damage control. But one thing I want to say to everyone watching this video, really stop and stare at this comparison right here and be honest with yourself, you know, trust your intuition because your intuition is going to tell you that this is Steve Harvey's younger character and it couldn't be any more obvious. So a lot of people try to lie to themselves because they don't want to accept that the world is a stage and that these characters would do some nasty shit like this right in front of our face. Someone said Steve Harvey and Michael B. Jordan look alike. Now I can't unsee it. And then here's another side to side comparison. You can see it a lot with younger pictures of Steve Harvey. You know, here we got a younger picture of Steve Harvey and then Michael B. Jordan, you know, and they're even wearing the same color shirt right here. And if you zoom in on this picture, you can see the symbolism that he's doing with his arm. You know, every time they pose for these pictures, they're always doing some kind of symbolism. You know, if you really look at this, he's doing a triangle with his arm right here. You know, none of that is a coincidence. And then even Chris Brown admitted that Steve Harvey is Michael B. Jordan because Chris Brown literally posted this on his story, as you guys can see right there. And it's a side to side of Steve Harvey and Michael B. Jordan. And it says, I can't unsee it. And then here we got a side to side of Steve Harvey and Michael B. Jordan again. You know, they have the same exact head shape. That's what really gets me with this one. You know, Steve Harvey has a very, like, round head. So the fact that Michael B. Jordan has the same head is very funny to me. The only difference is that Michael B. Jordan has hair and Steve Harvey doesn't. And then even a verified person on Twitter said, I still can't unsee when y'all said Michael B. Jordan looks like Steve Harvey. And then this person got 500 likes and they said, Are we forgetting that Michael B. Jordan looks like Steve Harvey? 
And there was a lot of other tweets of people that got 15,000 likes talking about this. So that goes to show that there's thousands of people that can see this one. You know, someone even posted this picture of Michael B. Jordan. And it's like a drawing that somebody made of him being Superman. And this is funny because he looks exactly like Steve Harvey, even in cartoon format. You know, so I just thought that was funny. All right, so now let's get into the connections. So Steve Harvey's birthday is January 17th, 1957. And Michael B. Jordan's birthday is February 9th, 1987. So the first thing that I noticed was their birthdays are only three weeks apart. So that's very interesting. And then also I noticed that Steve Harvey was born in 57 and Michael B. Jordan was born in 87. So they're exactly 30 years apart. But don't let the age fool you because I've explained this multiple times, you know, especially on my Patreon. I did a really good breakdown of how they're doing this. So I recommend you guys watch that video. The link to my Patreon is in the description. But basically, I was explaining to you guys how they're doing this. And once you know how they're doing it, you'll understand why the ages don't matter. Because they're just constantly recycling these characters. You know, Michael B. Jordan is a recycled version of Steve Harvey. Alright, so now let's get into the mockery. Because like I told you guys, this one was right in front of our face, man. Like, Steve Harvey's younger character is literally dating Steve Harvey's daughter-in-law. And there's so many articles of this because apparently Steve Harvey doesn't like Michael B. Jordan. So this one says Steve Harvey tried really hard not to like daughter Lori's boyfriend, Michael B. Jordan. And I think the reason why he doesn't like Michael B. Jordan is because that gives him a reason to not be with Michael B. Jordan. Because I tried looking up pictures of Michael B. Jordan and Steve Harvey together and they literally have no pictures together. And that's very strange to me because you would think they would have at least one picture together because he's dating his daughter, you know what I mean? So I just found it strange that they have no pictures together. And I think the reason why they don't want Steve Harvey to have pictures with Michael B. Jordan is because they know that people are going to notice how much they look alike and it's going to go viral, you know, and they might do it one day, but I don't think they are because Laurie Harvey and Michael B. Jordan just broke up. And now it makes perfect sense why they broke up because they know that they put this one in our face and they didn't want more people to notice it. Because if Michael B. Jordan kept dating Lori Harvey, you know, people would find it strange that Michael B. Jordan doesn't have any pictures with Steve. They had to break up or else it would be too obvious after a while. But anyways, here's an article that says Steve Harvey jokes he's very uncomfortable after Ellen shows intimate shot of his daughter Lori Harvey with Michael B. Jordan. So this is all mockery at the end of the day. And now let's get into the third character, which is Dom Kennedy. And he's a rapper from LA. And this one is extremely obvious. You know, right away, I bet everyone can see this one. You know, he's literally an exact copy of Steve Harvey. So right here, they put a Lakers hat on Steve Harvey and he looks exactly like Dom Kennedy. And then here's a side to side comparison that I made because they look exactly alike. You know, and Dom Kennedy also looks a lot like Michael B. Jordan as well. You know, here's all three of them. And here's some more pictures of Dom Kennedy. And he looks just like Michael B. Jordan, man. All of them have that same exact mouth and smile. And when you look at Michael B. Jordan close up, he's going to remind you a lot of Dom Kennedy and Steve Harvey at the same time. And Dom Kennedy has this music video with Nipsey Hussle. And in this video, you can clearly see that he's Michael B. Jordan and Steve Harvey. You know, he's like a mixture of both of them. And I noticed it a lot in this music video. All right, so here we got Michael B. Jordan. He looks exactly like them. They all got that same exact smile, man. That's what gets me. And then here we got Steve Harvey doing symbolism in plain sight. And here he is doing it again. You know, it's not a coincidence that he just so happens to have his hands like that in both of these pictures. Everything they do is on purpose. Even this one, you know, he's doing symbolism right there. All right, so a big connection with Dom Kennedy and Michael B. Jordan is they're both from California. So Dom Kennedy was born in L.A., California. And Michael B. Jordan was born in Santa Ana, California. 
and Dom Kennedy's real name is Dominic Ross Hun. So I looked up his name in Gematria and it matches up perfectly with Michael B. Jordan. So Michael B. Jordan and Dominic Hun both equal 61 in the full reduction cipher. And then Michael and Kennedy both equal 33 in the full reduction cipher and so does Masonry. So that's a major connection right there. And then Masonry and Michael both equal 39 in the reverse full reduction. And then Dom's middle name is Ross. And I noticed that Ross matches up perfectly with Steve, you know, because Steve Harvey is the base character of both of these characters, Dom Kennedy and Michael B. Jordan. So if you look at the gematria of Steve and Ross, all of these numbers match up. You know, they both equal 71 in the English ordinal, and then they both equal 17. And then in the reverse ordinal, they have the same numerology. And then in the reverse full reduction, they both have 28. And now I want to get into my predictions of these three characters because I have a lot of evidence that one of these three characters is going to fake their death. And it might not be soon because it seems like they're using these three characters a lot right now. But for sure, one of these characters is going to get killed off because all of them look so much alike. And I can just see them killing one of them off because it's so obvious. But anyways, in the Gematria, you can see that Steve and Ross match up perfectly with Kill. You know, they both equal 17 in the same cipher. And then Steve and Kill equal 64. And then all three of them equal 28. And then Dom and Dad match up perfectly. So it might be Dom Kennedy because he matches up perfectly with Dead. You know, they both equal 14 and 49 and 94. So you reverse the 49, you get 94. And then Michael B. Jordan's real name is Michael Bakari Jordan. And he matches up perfectly with Killing because Killing equals 38 and you reverse the 38 and you get 83. And it also matches up with Rapper because Michael B. Jordan's other character is a rapper. And then RIP equals 38 and Michael equals 138. So it's not the exact same number, but they both have 38. So there's a good chance they might fake his death. And then even Michael Jordan equals 238 and RIP is 38. So this might be a reference to the other Michael Jordan, the basketball player. So one of these Michael Jordans is going to fake their death. I don't know which one it's going to be because they basically have the same name. But for sure, one of these is going to fake their death soon. And then Steve Harvey might also fake his death because he matches up perfectly with murder. So they both equal 79 in the English ordinal. And they both equal 34 in the full reduction. And they both equal 83 in the reverse ordinal. So for sure, one of these characters is going to fake their death. And when it happens, remember this video. Because this is just so much gematria connecting all of them to death. So I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. So yeah, man, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope all of you guys can see clearly that Steve Harvey is Michael B. Jordan. You know, it's going to be very hard for a lot of people to accept this one because a lot of people are attached to these characters. And it's very hard for them to believe that they've been deceived in plain sight, man, because this character is literally dating his daughter-in-law with his other characters. So there's just so much mockery with this shit. And I just can't believe that they would do some shit like this. You know what I mean? This goes to show how weird these entities are. You know, they don't care about any of this stuff because at the end of the day, they're not human. You know what I mean? So they don't have morals like we do. So that's why they pull off this nasty shit. And also because these are just characters, you know, these aren't actually real people. You know, these are just the vessels that these entities are using to play these characters on the world stage. And last but not least, I do want to talk about the damage control of people saying that Steve Harvey is Richard Pryor. And I can understand why people were saying that because they both have a mustache. But other than that, they look nothing alike. You know, they have a picture together and they don't look anything alike at all. You know, Steve Harvey has a round head and I was explaining that because Michael B. Jordan also has that same exact round head. And Richard Pryor's head is way different. You know, he has like a skinnier head and it's longer. So he's not Richard Pryor, but I will be exposing Richard Pryor soon. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to drop a like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. 
follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my Patreon for exclusive content that is not allowed on YouTube. I really appreciate everyone for supporting me and my channel and my Patreon. And I hope you guys have a great night.